Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We're here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 198. 198, and today is our 198. And today is going to be our 13th lesson on the topic of work time problem in the series of 15, 15 videos. 13th in the series of 15th video. The problem as you can see is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. We are told that A, a works twice as fast as B. We have two workers A and B. We are told that A works twice as fast as B. Further, we are told that together if they were to work, they can finish the job in 18 days. Question is, how long will, will it take for A to do the job by himself working as his is his own constant pace. I'll give you five seconds now. I want you to do the problem yourself. I'm going to get out of your way. I'll give you five seconds for you to be to be able to pause and unpause the video. Do it, do it yourself and then we'll do it together. All right. Here we go. Before you do any work at all, before you do any work at all, it's sometimes useful to glance at the answer choices and uh, understand if there's any answer choice that, that is illogical, that doesn't make any sense. And if you were to do that, you can raise your odds of finding the right answer even if you don't have the time to do the entire problem. Even if you're running out of time and if you have to just pick one answer choices, ask yourself, is there any answer choice that just, just, just doesn't make any sense? When they're working together, when they're working together, it takes them 18 days. Obviously, if the, work, if the guy was going to work by himself, if he doesn't have the help of B, if he's going to work by himself, obviously it's going to take more than 18 days. 18 days is how long it takes when they're working together. Which means A, B, and C cannot be possibly the right answer. A, B, and C cannot possibly be the right answer. It would have to be either B or E. And E is twice as long. Twice as long. A, if he was to work by himself, the only way, listen very carefully, the only way that A will end up taking twice as long as it takes for when they are working together. If A will end up taking twice as long only if A works just as fast as B does. A does not work just as fast as B does. If A and B both work at the same pace, listen carefully, if A and, A and B were to both work at the same pace and if it takes them 18 days in that scenario to finish the job, then of course one worker would take twice as long. A is not working as fast as B. A works twice as fast. Answer is not E. The answer is D. Now let's do it together if you if you wish to do it. Okay? Here we go. So we know that so we know that A is twice as fast as B. A is twice as fast as B. Which which in turn implies that B is half as fast. As A. Now how do we write this thing? How do we write this thing in the form of an equation? B is half as fast as A, same as saying B is means equal. Let's line them up so we can so we can translate the equation into, into a word, this sentence into an equation. B is, is means equal half as fast, half as fast as A. B is half of A, which means B plus A, B plus A or A plus B if you like, A plus B take 18 days we are told, take 18 days but A plus B is same as A plus half of A or if you like 3 halves of A, 3 halves of A, 3 halves of A take, take 18 days. Well if 3 halves take, if 3 halves take 18 days, listen carefully, if 3 halves takes 18 days, that in turn implies that half an A should take, half an A should take, should take how much? One third of that amount or three times that amount? So carefully, think of, think, think of this as three people. Don't worry, don't worry about three halves, just think of this as three people. If three people take 18 days, if three people were to take 18 days, three, says three identical people, because we have three A's, even though it is three halves, so to look at, think of this, this half, a, think of half an A as a person. We have three of them. If three of them take 18 days, then one of them should take, 
My question is, should one of them take one third of the amount of time or three times the amount of time? It will not take one third the amount of time, it will take three times the amount of time. It will take 18 times three. That's half a day. And therefore that implies, that in turn implies that one A should take 18 times three over two, two cancel out with 18, nine, and nine times three is 27, which is exactly what we said here. But as you can see, all of this is unnecessary. All of this was unnecessary. The answer is right there, staring in your face. They give you five answer choices, and four of them make absolutely no sense. Well, if four of them do not make any sense, then you're done. It's a gift. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. Sometimes taking a few extra seconds to think logically and, and, and keeping calm is that's the important part. You have to take the exam calmly and collectedly. You must remain collected. We are told that machine A, machine A takes six hours to do a job. Machine B, we are told, takes four hours to do the same job. One takes six hours, the other one takes four hours, and then finally we are told that machine C takes three hours to do the same job. Question simply is, how long together? How long would they take Of course, in the exam, they will not say simply how long together. In the exam, it will be a little bit more elaborate. They will say how long will it take for these three people working at their, const working at their constant respective paces to finish the job together. That's how it will be phrased. Here are the answer choices. A, B, C, D, and E. We have 40 minutes. We have one hour. We have one hour and one hour and 20 minutes. We have two hours and 40 minutes, and we have four hours and 20 minutes. Those are your answer choices. Again, I'll give you five seconds. I'll give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Do the problem yourself first, pause the video, do it yourself, and then compare your work against the work that we will do together in a few seconds' time. Okay? I'll get out of your way. So one more time, the hours we have are 6, 4, and 3, how long together? And those are the answer choices. Alright, first thing first, I'm not going to write everything down, I'm just going to explain to you and just listen carefully. Again, instead of, instead of solving the problem immediately, let's look at it in a little bit of a logical way. This guy takes 6 hours. This guy takes 6 hours. If we were, if we were told, that B takes 6 hours and C takes 6 hours. If everybody were to take 6 hours, listen carefully, if everybody were to take 6 hours, then in 2 hours A can do third of the job, B can do third of the job in 2 hours, and C can do the remaining third of the job, which means the amount of time it will take them is 2 hours. But of course, they all, they do not take 6 hours. The A takes 6 hours, but the other two are faster. Other two are faster. The other one guy takes 4 hours, and the other guy takes three hours, which means the amount of time will take them will not be as long as six hours, uh, as long as as long as two hours. It will be less than two hours because this guy does not take six hours and this guy does not take six hours. The amount of time will be less than less than two hours. Are you with me? The actual amount of time that is the time is going to be less than two hours. Now look at the other way. Instead of instead of instead of six, four, and three, what if everybody took three hours? If everybody took three hours, then in one hour A can do one third of the job, B can do one third of the job, and C can do one third of the job. In other words, you have to look at the two extreme scenario, ask yourself how long should the job take if everybody everybody were to work as fast as the fast guy, and how long will it take? That's the minimum amount of time it should take in theory, if everybody were to work as fast as the fast guy. And then ask yourself how long should it, should the job take, how long the job would have taken rather, if everybody were to work as slowly as the fast guy, as slowly as the slowest guy. And those are, those are your two extremes. 
So if everybody were if, if everybody were to finish the job in three hours each, working by 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 by, by himself, it should take one hour. It should take one hour. Let me let me put it a little bit differently so it's easier to look at. The amount of time it will take has to be more than one hour, but less than two hours. Which means the correct answer, whatever it is, the correct answer has to, whatever it is has to fall. It cannot be as low as one hour. One hour would have been the case if everybody took three hours, but that's not the case. Everybody does not take three hours. One guy takes one guy takes six hours. The other guy takes four hours. The other guy takes three hours. So it's not going to be as low as one hour. It's going to be more than one hour. And two hours is the other extreme. Two hours is, is how long it would have taken if everybody took six hours. Everybody does not take six hours. These two guys are faster. It will be less than two hours. It cannot be two. It cannot be one. It has to be something between one and two, which means, what does it tell you? It tells you that any answer choice that you see that, that is equal to one or two or anything above or below it, they are wrong. Answer cannot be 40 minutes. It's silly. It cannot be one hour. It cannot be two hours. Oh, there you go. It cannot be, there you go. That's your answer. One hour and 20 minutes. It cannot be more than two hours. That's silly. That's just damn silly. It cannot be as long as four hours. These are silly answers for people who are doing the problem in a very arithmetic, very classical, very conventional, very academic way, very nerdy, very geeky way. And in the process, they forget to think logically. And they end up making some predictable mistake where instead of dividing by two, they end up multiplying by two. And there it goes. So they end up the answer that is four times the actual amount. Do you understand? Let's do it together, shall we? Enough of the talk. Let's do it together. If you want to do it out, if you're, if you're hell-bent, only if you're hell-bent, otherwise I wouldn't do it. If you're hell-bent on doing it out, academically, which we don't need to, answer is staring in our face, but if you're hell-bent on it, we'll do it together. And if you are going to do it to, uh, academically, then the first thing we need to ask ourselves is, is there a magic number that we can work with that is nicely divisible by 6, 4, and 3? A number that is a nice multiple of 6, 4, and 3. The lower the better. Such a number is called the least common multiplier, the lowest that we want to look for. A number that is, that be, that is divisible by 6, 4, and 3. Oh, actually, 12 would work. 12 we can divide by 6. 12 can be divided by 6, 4, and 3. So we're going to work to 12. So let's ask ourselves, let's ask ourselves how much work they can do if we were to give every one of them 12 hours. In 12 hours, in 12 hours, A can do, A can, A can do, well, it takes six hours. If you give him 12 hours, if you give him 12 hours, we should be able to do two jobs. There is no reason why he cannot do two jobs if you give him twice the amount of time. Makes sense. In 12 hours, in 12 hours, B should be able to do, well, B takes four hours. If you give him 12 hours, he should be able to do three jobs. And in 12 hours, in 12 hours, C can do, it should say C can do and A can do. Well, C takes four hours. You give him 12 hours and he should be able to do four jobs. So well, there you go. Two plus three is five plus four is nine. They can do nine jobs. They can do nine jobs in 12 hours. Together, together, they can do, together they can do nine jobs in Hours. They don't have to do nine jobs, they only have to do one job. That in turn implies that if they only have to do one job, then one job should take one, one ninth of the amount of time. Nine over twelve, or one and one third hour. One and one third hour is one hour and twenty minutes. A third of an hour, a third of an hour is a twenty minute. But all of that was a sheer waste of time. We really didn't have to do any of that. The answer was right there in front of us. There was only one answer that made sense. The other four answers were just silly, nonsensical, illogical. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.